Using an idiot character as the protagonist is way easier than having a smart main character. Although the character's intellect is in no way a reflection of the mangaka's intellect, a mangaka still has to be smart enough to make the character look smart. However, a manga with genius character has an alluring charm. It forces you to think whether there's an underlying meaning behind every act, scene and dialogue. If you are looking for some webtoons with smart protagonist, well, here's our list of some of the best manhua with a smart slash genius MC. On the 10th number, the manhua is Second Life Ranker. Yeon Woo's twin brother disappeared 5 years ago, only for his pocket watch to suddenly fall into Eon Woo's hands. Inside, Eon Woo found a hidden diary, which says, by the time you hear this, I guess I will be already dead. Obelisk, the tower of the sun god, is the world where several universes and dimensions intersect. Eon Woo's brother has died after being betrayed while he climbed the tower. And after learning the truth, Eon Woo decides to climb the tower with the help of his brother's diary. On the ninth number, the manhua is The Villainous Lives Again. From childhood, Artesia Rosan's happiness was dependent on ensuring the success of her brother. As a master manipulator and schemer, she becomes the most valuable ally in seizing the Empire's throne. That's exactly why her brother's betrayal cut so deeply when Artesia was imprisoned as punishment for all of her crimes. Soon after being rescued by Grand Duke Cedric Evron, she woves to help him overthrow the cruel new emperor by sacrificing her own life with forbidden magic. Now waking up several years earlier back in time, she will forsake her own family to help Cedric at all costs. They say that blood is thicker than water. But can Artesia destroy her brother while her own romance blossoms amidst the chaos? On the 8th number, the manhua is the legendary Moonlight Sculptor. Lee Yoon, an orphan and debt-ridden 20-year-old high school dropout, puts his famous avatar from the Continents of Magic game, once the most popular online RPG game in Korea, up for auction. Once the news spreads online, a fierce and unexpected competition to win Yoon's unique avatar breaks out, raising the auction price to $3 million. However, when Lone Shark shows up to collect his deceased parent's debt, he is only left with a small amount of money. He utilizes $47,000 of the money to pay for a small house for his grandmother and sister to live in. Determined to support his family and send his little sister Haiyan to college, he joins the next generation of online RPG game named as Royal Road as a dark gamer. On the next number, the manhua is Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint, a novel called Three Ways to Survive in a Rune World, written by the anonymous author TLS123, has been written and published over the course of a decade. And Kim Dogja is a soul reader who has followed it to its ending. When the real world is plunged into the premise of ways of survival, Kim Dogja's unique knowledge of the novel becomes vital to his survival. Kim Dogja allies with Yu jung Hyuk, the protagonist of Ways of Survival, in order to change the novel's original plot and more quickly approach the end of the story. As Kim Dogja and his party members progresses through the scenarios, they face increasingly difficult threats and life or death challenges, struggling to stay alive and work together as they aim to destroy the star's team that demands their suffering. On the sixth number, the manhua is Weak Hero. Due to widespread bullying in Yujan's high school, weak student lives in a constant fear of becoming the next prey. But their luck is bound to change when Grey Eon, a scrawny freshman, no taller than 157cm, leaves the entire class in shock, who stands up to a bully twice his size and overpowers him with ease. Grey's courageous acts, resourcefulness and unique insight earns him the nickname of Yujan's White Mamba. Despite his size, Grey continues trading blows with bigger and stronger bullies from other high schools in town, all in hope of preventing the history from repeating itself. On the fifth number, the manhua is You Are Thrawn. Cunning and ruthless, Lady Media Solon has only one goal in her life, to become the princess of Vasilios' empire by marrying crown prince Eros Olna Vasilios. However, Media's ambitious scheme collapses when the crown prince chooses naive Psy Callista as his fiancé instead of her. As a result, she resolves to remove Psy by any means necessary and secure her place on the throne. However, not all goes according to her plan. 
at the yearly prayer held in the temple, Medea confronts Psyche and her ignorance towards possessing authority. In an instant, Medea falls into a seemingly bottomless fountain, unable to reach the surface. Believing that the god is responsible, she prays to be one who rules the empire. The deity grants Medea's wish at the cost of exchanging bodies with the Psyche, a twist of faith that may reveal more than what meets the eye. On the next number, the manhua is the beginning after the end. King Ray has unrivaled strength, wealth and prestige in a world which is governed through martial abilities. However, solitude lingers closely behind us with great powers. Beneath the glamorous exterior of the powerful king lurks the shell of a man, devoid of purpose and will. Reincarnated into a new world filled with magic and monsters, the king has a second chance to relieve his life. Correcting the mistakes of his past will not be his only challenge, however. Underneath, the peace and the prosperity of the new world is an undercurrent threatening to destroy everything he has worked for, questioning his role and reason for being born again. On the third number, the Manhua is King's Maker. Five years after the mysterious disappearance of a nation's fourth prince, a statement is issued, demanding that any boy found using his name is reported to the authorities. Thus, a manhunt begins for those named as Wolfgang. Wolfgang Golden Leonard is well aware of his identity and he knows that the authorities are still looking for him. He also knows that they mean to end his life. In hiding since the death of his mother, the prince has fostered a bond with the orphans on the streets. However, after threats to them are made, Wolfgang is forced to reveal himself. With his identity publicly revealed, Wolfgang is taken to the home of his tyrannical father. After his father's palace, Wolfgang retains his hatred for a man who gave him life. He refuses to behave as befitting of the Golden Leonard Prince and breaks every rule he possibly can. He is often reminded that he is never to convent the king's possession. But through his rebellion spirit and fiercy nature, he has already caught the eyes of king's favorite catamine, Shin Shunyuk. Shin sees Wolfgang as a force for change, the spark that may just light the fire of rebellion. And with the promise of granting Shin's freedom, Wolfgang agrees to become his pawn. On the second number, the Manhua is solo leveling. Ten years ago, the gate appeared and connected real world with realm of magic and monsters. To combat these wild beasts, ordinary people received superhuman powers and became known as hunters. Twenty-year-old Sung Jin Wu is one such hunter, but he is known as the world's weakest hunter. Owing to his pathetic power compared to even a measly E rank, still he hunts monsters tirelessly in low rank gates to pay for his mother's medical bills. However, this miserable lifestyle changes when Jin Wu, believing himself to be only one left to die in a mission gone terribly wrong, awakens in a hospital three days later to find a mysterious screen floating in the front of him. This quest log demands that Jin Wu completes an unrealistic and intense training program or face an appropriate penalty. Initially reluctant to comply because of the quest rigor, Jin Wu soon finds that it may just transform him into one of the world's most fearsome hunters. On the first number, the Manhua is Tower of God. 25th Bam has been alone his whole life until he met Rachel. Now however, Rachel is set on climbing the tower and she is willing to leave Bam behind to do so. After Rachel disappears in a while of light, Bam follows her vowing to ascend the tower in hopes of meeting her again. But the tower is a dangerous place full of ancient secrets, fearsome monsters and nefarious humans. Each floor is protected by the administrator who puts the daring challengers through the grueling test that will push them into their limits. As he confronts Hedon, the administrator of the first floor, Bam learns that he is an irregular, someone who was not chosen by the tower but was able to enter it on his own an extremely rare event inside the tower. Regardless of this revelation, however, his path forward is clear, be it wealth, power, glory or even reuniting with Rachel. All desires will be realized at the top of the tower. And that's why Tower of God is a must-read manhua where the MC is a smart and genius character. With that being said guys, we have come to the end of this video. What are your thoughts about this list? 
let me know your thoughts let me know which is your favorite manhua out of this list in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel because i post daily anime content on this youtube channel and that's it for today's video guys and i will see you in the next one sayonara